The Newman Bible Training Center in the Philippines is a subsidiary of Newman Ministries International. It was started by Drs. Willis and S. M. Newman in obedience to the Great Commission of our Lord Jesus Christ. The target population are mainly village pastors and church workers who cannot attend Bible schools because they do not meet the minimum educational requirements to enroll. And even if they do, often they can't afford it anyway. They know they need Bible education to be able to teach the Bible accurately, equip their members for effective service, and prepare their churches to engage with the unbelieving world. Sometime in 2015, Newman Ministries responded to requests from numerous village pastors from southern Philippines to teach them Bible courses. After much prayers, in 2017, the Newmans started building a training center in Samal, an island off of Davao City, the third largest city in the Philippines. In November 2019, the Newmans quit their jobs and moved to Samal to do full-time ministry. The world came to a halt when COVID-19 pandemic hit in early 2020. Samal was relatively COVID-free, so after three months of lockdown, the Newmans decided to open the training center. In just a few months, the student count began to grow and grow and grow. By the end of the year, they had more than 200 students from all over Samal and the neighboring islands, coming from various denominations, including Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostals, even Catholics, among others. The huge need for Bible teaching is evident as the ministry continues to grow. To date, Newman Ministries has around 800 students on its roster in four separate teaching hubs. Newman Ministries offer eight Bible courses, including a, ba a basic course in systematic theology. At the end of the eight courses, they celebrate student achievement with a graduation. Most of our graduates experience receiving a school certificate for the first time. In the last two years, 220 students have completed a diploma program. Here is a glimpse of a recent graduation. God uses Newman Ministries to impact three critical groups in Mindanao. First, is a church grounded in liberation theology based on communist ideology. The church is one of the Philippines' largest and most influential Protestant churches. Most of the members are wealthy and educated. For years, this church has actively recruited young people to join rebel groups fighting against the government. They use church funds to buy arms. But God is raising a group of Bible-believing evangelical Christians from within the denomination. This group of people do everything to, prote to protect especially their young. And they know that the best way to protect them is to immerse them in Bible teaching. 
26 church leaders from this denomination have already completed our program and we are currently training them to become teachers. The second group are Muslims. Recently, we graduated 23 pastors who minister to predominantly Muslim areas, including where fundamentalist Islamists can be found. The third group are the indigenous tribes. There are 13 identifiable tribes in Mindanao, mainly unreached. A prominent tribal leader has gone through our program and is eager to transfer the training to village pastors who minister to tribal communities. Our ministry continues to grow in pace that we have not anticipated. We need help. Here is Willis to tell you how you can help. And here's how you can help. First, you can pray for us. We are encroaching on enemy territories and so we face a lot of challenges and also opposition. So pray for boldness. Pray that Esme and I, along with our team of volunteers, that we'll remain faithful to him, to his word, and to the gospel. Secondly, you can join us. We love hosting short-term missions and missionaries, and you can help us in our Bible distribution, our evangelistic efforts, including uh, evangelistic concerts, and medical clinics, and house-to-house -house visitation. Well, you can serve alongside of our volunteers by facility maintenance or simply interacting with the students that come by. So lastly, you can give. A survey by the Philippine Bible Society indicates that there are still 300,000 Christians in Mindanao without a Bible. And so a Bible costs about $2 a piece. And we offer our course for free, including the lunches. And our manuals cost about $3 to print, but we also pay an extra dollar and 24 cents per page to have it translated into the local dialect. We now have three or even more volunteer teachers, and we're training more so that eventually the ministry can be run and we'll turn it over to the locals. And the ministry is growing churches, is changing lives, and however, many more Christian workers are begging us to bring the Bible school into their areas. So God has opened wide this door of opportunity to meet a critical need among these brethren. And what a privilege it is to be a part of this exciting ministry. To God be the glory and God bless you too. Through your love, oh God.